Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick video here. Sorry about the graphics, but uh, I just want to do it really quickly. How to install Kodi on any Android device, whether it be your Samsung tablet or an Android desktop um, TV, or just on your PC or laptop. So Kodi is actually for streaming video online. Um, you use it for either streaming movies or TV programs. So quickly just do a Google search for Kodi. I just showed you how to spell it there, K-O-D-I. And the first thing that pops up is Kodi Open Source. Just click on that. Once that opens, click Download. Now there's a few downloads here. I've been using Isengard, which is in beta right now. It just seems to be the best that's going right now. There's also Isengard Nightly. You don't want to use that because it actually updates nightly. You'll just want to use the beta version. So here you can just either do it for the PC, which I'm going to show you, or you can do it for an Android device. The one I do with the Android is actually called Android ARM, A-R-M. It's also available in Android 86 if you have the capability of doing that, but the A-R-M seems to work just fine. So pretty much just clicking and installing Kodi. It's pretty basic. If you're not sure how to do this, you probably shouldn't be installing Kodi. I just pretty much accepted everything on the install and then I'm going to run Kodi and I'm going to finish the install. Okay, now now that I accepted it, Kodi is actually open in the bottom, so I'm going to open it up in my screen. And this is what Kodi looks like. As you can see, it looks exactly the same on an Android device, which is really nice when you're going in between using it on a computer or on an Android device. It is very simple to use, and it, like I said, it's the same, exactly the same on both programs. So we're just going to go to System and File Manager on the screen here, and then just click once on that. Now go to Add Source in the A root and double click on it. Make sure you double click. It'll open up this screen here. We just want to click here and we want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. Now you can either use your keyboard to do this or you can just click on the screen. The keyboard's much faster. I just thought I'd show you on the screen just to slow it down so you could actually see what I was spelling. So I won't make you go through the whole thing, guys. I'll just speed it up a little bit here and put it in the last little bit. Just click Done when you're done typing it in. Now on the bottom here, enter a name. Just click on that. and ent You can enter any name, really, but I just had Fusion just to keep it simple and so I remember where it is. And then Done, and then just click OK on the bottom. Now that that's done, I'm going to hit the home button to go back to the main screen. Once you're at the main screen, just click on system this time. And on the left hand side, you're going to click on add-ons. Once you click on add-ons, look for install from zip file. And then now I have two fusions here because I did already have it previously installed, but just click on fusion. Now just click on XBMC repos. English. Now these are all the repositories, so all you want to do is just go down to repository dot lambda dot one point one point zero. And then once in here, it will automatically install. You'll see a screen kind of flash on the right, and then once it's gone, it's actually installed. Click back on the home button, and now we're just gonna click on video. From video you're gonna go to video add-ons, get more. And on this screen, we're just going to scroll down and find Genesis. It is alphabetical, so it should be pretty easy for you to find. Again, sorry about the graphics, guys. So once you find Genesis, just click on it, and it should prompt you to this screen, which will give you an install option. Just click on install, it will install in seconds. Once it does install, just hit the home button again, 
or you can use the back button. Click on videos and then video add-ons and then Genesis should be here now. If you just click on Genesis it will open this screen which is the Genesis portion. Now I do own The Hobbit and I was going to show you a little clip of The Hobbit. I'm just not sure if I'm allowed to so I'm not going to do that on this video. But this is what you would use Kodi for is if you owned a movie or TV program or anything and you were watching it downstairs and all of a sudden you're tired so you want to go watch it in your bedroom, you could do that. So pretty much I'm just going to pick movies, most popular, or you can do a search or TVs or whatever you want. I'm going to show you The Hobbit is here. All you have to do is just find what you want, click on it. A little prompt will open in the bottom right just telling it's working and you'll see a little bar flash across. Then once it actually opens, this is everything, all the people that are streaming the video that you can get it off of or wherever you need it from. It is starts with the high definition at the top and then it goes high quality which is HQ and then medium quality. So I'm just going to click at the top, just show you this top one. You'll find different sources are obviously better than other sources. I just find that the G video source seems to be really good quality and always good. You will find cam versions on here as well, which obviously suck, but that's up to you and what you want to watch. Obviously, if you ch just try to view the newest movies that are still in the theaters, you probably won't be able to find a really good one. Anyways, that's it, guys. It's pretty basic. When you do log out, just click on the power button on the left there and then exit, and it will X you right out of the screen. So enjoy. If you have any comments, please leave them in the suggestions below, and I'll either add more videos or answer your comments or questions. Other than that, please subscribe to my videos, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.